Hello and greetings. I'm Chef David Rose and I am the executive chef and spokesperson for the Omaha Steaks. I'm gonna be bringing a little bit of South to your mouth with a blackened filet and a lobster saute. It's gonna be so good. So we're gonna jump right into it with a chipotle butter. It's gonna really finish out and round out that blackened filet. Get a little olive oil in there. Then you add the garlic. All right, I see a sizzle going, and I hear a sizzle. I did mention this is a chipotle butter. So with that, I have about three to four chipotles whole, and I have some of the adobo sauce as well. So I add that into there. Oh yeah. Tomato paste to kind of round that spiciness out. All right, we're looking good. I know you guys can't smell it, but it smells amazing. And into the food processor we go. Oh, it's starting to smell already good and the butter's not even done yet. So about a pound of unsalted butter into the food processor we go. Uh, a little bit of chopped Italian parsley because you gotta have something green in there. It gives it nice color and flavor as well. A pinch of kosher salt, a pinch of black pepper, This is gonna go very well with our blackened filet and our lobster saute, and that we're good to go. So let's see what we have here. Consistency looks great, and that's a result of that room temperature butter. Let's taste. Perfect, tastes so good. What I have today right now is lobster tails. And with Surf and Turf, we're talking about luxury, and what's more luxurious than this wild-caught Maine lobster? and it's shipped fresh to you frozen day of, so you could literally taste the freshness all the way from Maine to your mouth. We want to remove that light, flaky, and naturally sweet lobster tail, the meat from the tail. Let's take a knife right here, watch your fingers, and just take one side like this, let the knife do this work. One side like that, one side like this. And again, watch the five digits, you're gonna need those. All right, and simply what I do is I just take my finger and I remove the meat from the shell. You see, super easy. And all that deliciousness right there is gonna be ready for our lobster saute. I said it before, I'll say it again. Anything delicious starts with amazing bacon. Cast iron pan, nice even temperature. We're gonna bring that to a nice medium high heat. All right, so a little bit of olive oil. Nice medium heat, and you just let the bacon do its thing, and slowly but surely, it'll render that bacon off and give you perfectly cooked bites of bacon. And just ensure that every piece of bacon in the pan is getting heat. All right, so once we do that, you wanna drain off a couple tablespoons, put it back on there, and then you wanna add the corn into the bacon. The corn is amazing, and it's gonna complement the sweetness that's in the corn with the sweetness that's in the lobster. Okay, so while that corn's doing its thing, we cannot forget our luxurious Maine lobster. All right, so with this right here, I'm gonna cut in about, you know, inch and a half, two inch pieces, and that's gonna go into our saute. All right, so to our pan, you wanna add the lobster. And the lobster is gonna cook very quickly. All right, so a little bit of salt. Be very mindful of the salt that's already in the bacon. A Little bit of crushed black pepper. All right, at this point if you wanna get fancy, feel free. Saute and just get everything, the attention it needs in the cast iron. Okay, we're pretty much there. What I'm gonna do next now is I'm gonna finish it with a little bit of parsley. And then once I take it off the flame, I wanna add a little bit of unsalted butter. Now what's that gonna do? It's gonna emulsify that and combine with the saute and give it a nice luxurious mouthfeel and creaminess by melting into the corn saute. 
Now for the star of the dish, the filet mignon. It's aged for 21 days to draw all that moisture and intensify those delicious flavors. It is then trimmed twice for our master butchers for a quality lean cut of meat. So I did promise a blackened filet. First things first, we wanna make our blackened seasoning. Very simple, salt, black pepper, smoked paprika, cause that nice smokiness always goes well with red meat, dried thyme, and garlic. And that right there is a simple, straightforward blackened seasoning. So always pat dry the filet. So a couple paper towels. Next, we take that amazing blackened seasoning we just made, and you wanna pretty aggressively season the filets on all sides. I'm Jamaican, I live in the South, so spice is my friend. So let the filet do its thing, hang out, come up to room temperature, and it's gonna make that much more of a difference. So I'm gonna add some olive oil to the pan and get that pan pretty scorching hot. I'm gonna do three to four minutes on one side and then three to four minutes on the other. That right there. Beautiful music to my ears. Don't flip it, don't touch it, let it just kind of get that nice hard crust and then that's when you flip it over. All right, so to the pan, we're gonna add some unsalted butter so you can control that salt content. Garlic and a couple of sprigs of thyme. All right. And you just tilt and you baste all along. Ah. Put the thyme on top of the filet as well. And as you hit it with the butter, it's gonna caramelize that thyme and also give you that nice herbal note. The key is you wanna let the filets rest because if you cut it too soon, all the juices will seep out. And the key to a juicy, delicious filet is letting it rest. All right, now that we have all of our components, it's time to compose a winning dish. So first things first, I wanna take that lobster sauce. Hey, remember that fresh Maine lobster would be a nice base for our filet. On top of the lobster saute like so. This is what it's all about. It's about luxury, it's about taste, it's also about plating, and it all starts with quality from Omaha Steaks.